The administration delivered the budget to Congress, where it was received by Republicans with defiance, who scolded Obama for not cutting more. That's not leadership. That's an abdication of leadership. With deficit cutting now the main mission in Washington, over $13 trillion of red ink, the worst since World War II, both Republicans and Democrats are taking an ax no, to the budget. In said. poor neighborhoods like this one, the cuts proposed by the White House will deeply impact low-income working families. Obama is proposing a 50 percent cut in the Community Service Block Grants program, which pays for anti-poverty programs. The Community Development Block Grant program, which helps the poor find jobs and pay for housing, and the Low Income Energy Assistance Program, which pays winter oil heating costs for three million Americans, one and a half million to be left out in the cold under Obama's budget. In fact, many of the programs that Obama is cutting in his budget for 2011-12 are the same programs that helped him help many poor people in Chicago when he was a community organizer there several years ago. The U.S. Conference of Mayors calls the proposed Obama cuts devastating to the poor, and even Obama acknowledges it. It will mean cutting things uh, that I care deeply about. Uh, for example, community action programs in low-income neighborhoods and towns, uh, and community development block grants that so many of our cities and states rely on. But if we're going to walk the walk when it comes to fiscal discipline, these kinds of cuts will be necessary. It's worrying to have the energy assistance cut. Here at the Urban Institute, which advocates for the urban poor, Obama's bare bones budget for the poor and working class is seen as one more blow to people who are barely making ends meet in the recession as it is. If somebody, an old elderly person or a family that's trying to get by check to check, paycheck to paycheck, is trying to stretch that money to pay the heating bill, to pay for food, to pay for child care subsidies. And a lot of people are still going to be hurting because people are going to be in bad shape in 2012. According to the White House, the Obama cuts will reduce the deficit by $400 billion over the next decade. But much of it is dead on arrival with Republicans in control of the House of Representatives who insist that Obama's cuts are only a drop in the bucket to what's needed. Over the next few weeks, both Congress and the White House will be battling over the final figures. But either way, those on the bottom of the economic order are likely to be the biggest losers. Mike Kellerman, Press TV, Washington.